The long telegram was something that was published by George Kennan, the American ambassador in Moscow, and was sent back to Washington. It was an 8,000 word telegram, hence nicknamed the long telegram. Now then, the long telegram was about a number of things. Basically, the conclusions drawn were that Russia was, uh, Russians were determined to destroy the American way of life and will oppose, you know, will do everything they can to oppose America, and, but that they can be beaten. However, the important thing is that Kennan's telegram says that this can be done through propaganda, educating the public against communism and making them wealthy, etc. Not about necessarily through the um, idea of military means. Kennan says that the USSR must be contained. The policy of containment is this idea of also not just diplomatic, but also military policy that the US will continue for about 25 years or so. But and the idea, and he wrote that the USSR was a political threat and not necessarily a military threat. Now, one of the reasons why Kennan was so um, was so highly praised was because he'd lived in Moscow since 1933, and therefore he knew what he was talking about. And basically, the telegram out basically the telegram outlook outlined his outlook, why he's got this opinion, and also how communism will change in the future, and also how the US should respond to meet it. And therefore, there can be no peaceful coexistence because the US society must constantly be contained through political and um, sorry propaganda means. At the same time, or slightly after, Novik Novikov's telegram was um, sent back as well. Uh, Novikov's telegram was from the Soviet ambassador in Washington to Stalin. This reported that the US was, US was preparing for a war and hated communism, and the US had money from the war where the Soviet economy was weak. This is quite important to think about, as the Soviets you know, were invaded in 1941, had huge amounts of industry shipped over to the beyond the Ural Mountains to prevent Soviet bombing, whereas the USA were relatively unscathed from the Second World War. They didn't really suffer any bombing by one Japanese bomb on the, east, on the um, West Coast, and therefore came out of the war very well with a booming economy.